Hello students, welcome to Chorus's classes. This video is an advanced video on Piano's axiom. I will be explaining all the axioms today. And uh, in the forthcoming videos, I will be solving some sums as well. Okay. And one more special information that uh, we have opened our gates for your help. And you can WhatsApp your doubts and queries here. Okay. And we have a complete lecture series also waiting in our website. So in that also you just need to log in and you get the solutions and you can also contact us for complete classes. Okay, now coming back to the piano axiom. So now coming to the axiom, there are around seven axioms, but I will be discussing about and according to the notation one after another. The first axiom, the axiom one of piano is for every x is a natural number remember that n is represented by natural number x equal to this x is identically equal to x okay now uh, if the natural numbers are for example if one natural number is equal to the other one okay the natural number remember that it starts with one two three dot 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 okay then the second one should be equal to the first one so this is nothing but a symmetry axiom first part okay now coming to the second axiom and in order to in my second video i will be explaining why these axioms are very important and how you can solve some tough questions utilizing my this videos axioms of piano second axiom for every if two numbers if they are both natural numbers and if x equal to y then obviously y equal to x it seems to be very common but the I mean idea is the next property allows us to say that if one natural number is equal to the second the second natural must be equal to a third one and the first and third are equal so like that x equal to y and then y equal to z so simply x equal to y equal to z this structural pattern needs to be followed now going for the axiom 3 Third axiom is about for every x, y, z belongs to a natural number if x equal to y and y equal to z then they are equal. So this one is also very basic axiom. Remember that you have used a lot of problems okay and these notational equality axioms will help you to do the piano's main axiom I will come to it later okay in my next video and uh, axiom 4 of basic numbers are if x and y are natural number if x is a natural number and x equal to y then y is also a natural number so these are the four now coming to the axiom part of piano so the main axiom 1 Piano's axiom 1. The first axiom is, is that 0 is a natural number. If 0 is a natural number. So we know that 0 isn't. Okay, 0 is a natural number. That is 0 belongs to it. Now this is very confusing. In alternative version of Piano's axiom, um, axiom 5 is actually replaces 0 with 1. This creates an almost identical set of natural numbers, okay, uh, which correspond to, to positive whole numbers. Whether a mathematician includes 0 in the natural number structure or not, it depends on the context. We use the convention of including 0 in the natural number in this basic axiom. At this point, we are only guaranteed to extend existence of the single natural number 0. Okay. Now, next axiom 2 is that if x is a natural number again, then and this is applicable for all the applicable for all the successors okay so the above axiom implies that we will commonly refer s of x is is here s is actually the successor 
spelling is ac double c e double s o r the successor of x intuitively we should think that s x as x plus one okay of course we uh, cannot formally define it in a way yet uh, we do not know what plus means so that's why at this point we are still quite far away from having the natural numbers we know them so for example uh, in the natural number set we have added zero previously so s of zero we can take it as zero okay now uh, the rest of the axioms uh, we will be doing it in our next video and uh, if you like all this video just give us a comment and we will get back to you as soon as possible